Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the project. This evening, we're gonna be doing a little fog light work. And you can see when I rolled in the driveway, I had my bossel bulbs on amber. That's perfect for this kind of overcast, foggy conditions. It's also great for snow, rain, mist. Um, but my fog light bulb is out, as you can see from the intro. And if you remember a few videos back, I talked about how embarrassing water in one headlight bulb was. Well, to me, having one fog light is equally as embarrassing. So I got two bulbs and I'm gonna replace both these lights, uh, the broken one and the one that works. I'm gonna reuse the one that works as a spare. I'm gonna hold on to it, but I wanted two new ones so I know that they have the same lifespan. So I'm gonna go ahead and change those bulbs and have great uh, lighting for driving in foggy conditions. Two fog light bulbs and amber bossel bulbs. Let's get started. All right, guys, check out the bulbs I got. These are just basic Slovenia bulbs. They are H3 in their fog lights, um, and they're uh, just a mild color. They're not super ultra white. They're not dingy yellow. They're fog light bulbs. Basic stuff. <laughs> basic. Uh... So that's it, guys. Simple, basic of bulbs, <laughs> and they're, uh, I don't know, like $7 each, seven fifty dollars plus tax. So that's it. We're going to go pull the fog lights and plug these in all right guys so here we go going down underneath the grievous bumper and so you can see what we got going on here now this is the case with the little cover where the fog light bulb goes in now if you're skillful enough you could probably just zip out these screws and manage to get your fog light bulb in there but uh it's the project i want to have a little fun and it wouldn't be the project if i didn't give you guys as much detail as possible so i'm going to go ahead and drop this whole fog light uh, from this bolt right here. This is a T40. All right, I'm gonna go grab my tools. All right, grab myself a T40. Go ahead and put that in there. Make sure it's on loosen. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. And everything's easier with an impact gun. So I'll go ahead and take this down and let this dangle by the plug. Let's see if I could do this one-handed. These are usually tough ones. All right, here we go. Just gonna give this little plug a push and pull. There we go. Got it. Let's take it to the bench. And of course, guys, wouldn't be a Project NH video if it didn't bust out my handy-dandy bench tester. Uh, so yeah, let's go test one of these lights. Here we go. Just gonna touch. The two ends, and man, there we go. Uh, that works. It's fantastic. Um, try not to touch these bulbs. You don't want to get your finger grease on it. It'll probably blow out the bulbs. So avoid touching light bulbs uh, with your fingers as much as possible. And here we go. We're going to test this one right here. And it better not work. <laughs> okay, good. We got nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll take out this bulb. All right, I'm having a little trouble getting this cover off because I went ahead and I waterproofed this fog light casing with a little bit of silicone, <laughs> and it's giving me a little bit of a hard time. I uh, hope that wasn't a mistake. I hope I don't end up breaking this, but um, I don't know. I really wanted this fog light case to be waterproof so the water didn't get in the lens and blow it out. I'm sure you've all seen... What these look like with water in them everything's rusty fog light doesn't work and what the heck happened <laughs> ended up not working anyway so that eh, just sucks but these were junkyard bulbs junkyard lenses uh if you want to see me put these on the vehicle for the first time you could go check out my general grievous uh rebuild series and there we go we're getting this off now gently pry it off All right. Wow. Well, that works. <laughs> that works very well. Too bad the bulb didn't last.
All right, so this is just peeling off. I guess the uh, silicone was too much for it. Now I know not to use it anymore. I'm gonna have to go into my parts bin, find a new fog light housing and use the, uh, the little gasket, whatever this foam is, this insulator. All right, that happens. You live and you learn, right guys? Let's get this out. Cool, and I think we've exposed enough of the bulb to take this out. So here we go. These fog lights have little clips in here. We're just going to go pinch these clips in. Rotate out the lock. And slide out the bulb. I said slide out the bulb. There we go. Ah. And this one was blue. How interesting. All right. Old bulb out. <laughs> All right, guys. So I was wondering why I could not get this bulb off. And that's because I shrink wrapped this connection. Um, I guess I went a little overboard. <laughs> Let me cut this off. Oh, boy. All that extra work. The bulb only lasted a couple months. What a shame. Good intentions, right? I guess. This bulb did not suffer. This bulb did not perish because of too much moisture. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna unplug the old bulb. There we go. Gonna plug in the new bulb. Tuck some of this wire out of the way. Now you don't want this to touch this because this is the positive, that's the ground, and you want them to be uh, um, separated as best as possible. All right, so I got that tucked nice and deep in there, and there is kind of a little pattern here. Uh, there's a round part in the front, and there's a square little nib in the back. Nib high football rules! So you just want to put your bulb with the round part in the front, and the square nib in the back. And you just insert the bulb right into the lens, just like so. Then you can go and push your little lock down. It's that easy, guys. That easy. Simple stuff. Just move this little wire out of the way. <laughs> yeah, real simple, Dan. <laughs> Way to go, jerk. Sorry, guys. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now that's a locked in place. Very nice. And uh, let's give this a little test. Just lay the bulb right here. And I'll take my power probes, we'll pop this in the socket, and don't look directly into the light. Yay! Working fog light bulb. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go find a little cover for this. Whoa! Jeep parts. Let's see in here. Got my light going on. Whoa, uh, here's my recent ZJ box. <laughs> Perfect, it's right there. Aces. Here's an old ZJ fog light. Let me take that stuff out of it. We got one. <laughs> All right guys, we're in luck. We're in business. Let's get this in. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I uh, have a ton of XJ parts, man. Um, now I'm starting to accumulate a ton of ZJ parts. Uh, I'm going to have to go to uh, Jeepers Anonymous or something. Because <laughs> I am addicted to Jeep. Uh, you know, I never planned on having this many parts. But I just... I'm scared. Is it scared? I don't know. I'm concerned that if I give away or sell a part, then... um. 
I uh, I won't have it for when I need it in the build of Beach Jeep. But I swear, guys, once I build the uh, the new Beach Jeep version 2.0, which, man, I got to unveil for you guys, uh, remind me to post the video of me purchasing my uh, my new uh, my new two-door Jeep. Got to uh, put that up. But, yeah, I guess once I uh, build that the way I need, then I'll be able to sell or give out all these parts I've accumulated and then I won't need to worry. So, yeah, until then, it's kind of neat that I could just go in and <laughs> find a part without having to go to the junkyard. But, yeah, it worked out for this project. No problems here. Cool. This is on. Give it a little testy once more, a little testy poo. Prop this up. Get my probes. There we go. It works. All right, let's get her in. All right, just gotta climb under here. Plug this back in. Easy peasy. And grab the impact. We'll get this started a little bit. Nice and easy, and we'll find out where it's level. This is aiming up a little too high. Loosen it up a bit. Bring her down. And get it tight again. Yeah, it seems about right. We'll uh, adjust this later against the garage door when the other bulb's in. All right, here we go. We got both fog lights in, and they're both working, so <laughs> that's always a plus. And here we go. We can see the beam on the garage door. Now, the driver's side is just a hair lower than the passenger side, so I'm going to go correct it. Set this camera right about here. Angle her up a bit. All right, get up here. Oh, don't look into the light. <laughs> it's bright. Right about there looks good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think that's it. All right, let's check a look at the beam. Cool. There we go. Looking nice and straight. All right, I think that's a successful project. Hey, quite literally, your word is a lamp into my feet and a light into my path. <laughs> that's great stuff, guys. Uh, that's kind of a metaphor for uh, not knowing where you're going in life, uh, unless you have God being uh, the direction in your life. Um, yeah, that's uh, very meaningful um, at this point in my life. Uh, a lot of stuff going on, and uh, I'm just glad that uh, I know he's in charge and not me. So, yeah, that's my fog light video. Um, quite literally, these fog lights are the light into my path. You can't drive <laughs> without lights, especially at night. And when it's dark and you're lost, you need these to get you home. So, uh, that's it, guys. I really appreciate your views. I really appreciate everything you've done for my project, uh, my project channel. Uh, thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you for commenting on all the videos. Thanks for hitting me up on Instagram. I really enjoy talking to you guys. Uh, if you ever need any help, you can always give me a message. I'll do my best to get you through your Jeep struggles. Um, so this thing has been a total blessing. Uh, I really appreciate all you guys again. Thanks for everything you've done for my project. Uh, and that's it guys. Like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Oh, 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 oh.